Hello, my dear students. Today we are continuing our coverage of the 2012 Summer Olympic Games. With the eyes of the world watching, there is a lot of cash on the line for Olympic athletes. The chance of landing huge corporate sponsorships, launching pro careers, even the chance to get money from their own government. While some Olympic athletes compete for money, others play for love. And there is one sport where this is truer than others. Students, can you please tell me the name of the sport where athletes play for love? I hope you guessed tennis. If you play the game, you know it has a very peculiar scoring system. Scores from 0 to 3 points are described as love, 15, 30 and 40. Did you ever wonder why? And while we're asking questions, where did the word tennis come from? Hat for Words is here to investigate. The word tennis comes from the mid-14th century, most likely from the Anglo-French word tennis, which means hold, receive, take. Tennis comes from the old French word tennis, which is the imperative or command form of the word tenir, which similarly means to hold, receive and take. When playing tennis, the server would call out tennis to his opponent and it seems the word stuck. But keep in mind that the original game of tennis was quite different than what we play today. Tennis was originally popular with medieval knights, who played by striking the ball with the palm of their hand. Anyway, the game was officially called La Palme in French, which literally meant the palm. But the guys shouting tennis was much more memorable. In 1858, a couple gentlemen invented a new version of the sport that was meant to be played on a grass court. This was also known as lawn tennis. Then in 1873, a man named Major Walter Winfield came up with yet another version of tennis, which he patented under the name even though Winfield lacked finesse when it came to naming, it's no wonder this name did not catch on. I can't pronounce it. His game was popular with British officers and he helped define the type of court and scoring system that we use today. So, let's get back to scoring, shall we? Many believe that the use of the word love can be traced to the 17th century expression play for love which means to play without any wager for nothing. So, a score of love means zero. And to describe the score when both players have zero, it's proper to say love all. Isn't that lovely? Now, for your homework, I want to hear about the games that you played for love. Please write your answers in the comment section below. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye, my dear students. Be good. Mwah!